Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Erica. And we're with AccuQuilt, and we have some big news to announce. Something big is right, Lynn. Right, we started with the Go Cutter. Right, and then we came out with the Go Baby. And now we have Go Big, our fastest cutter yet. Absolutely, and it is missing something. It's missing a handle because oh, yeah. we have an electric cord. It's an electric cutter. How exciting, so we have to plug it in. Absolutely. There we go. Okay, well, uh, Go Big, I mentioned, is our fastest cutter yet. You can cut two dies at a time with this. I know, and important to note, all of your existing Go dies are gonna work in this cutter. Which is great, plus it alleviates hand and arm strain because there's no cranking. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's gonna fit in our rolling tote too, so right. you can take it with you on the go. That's great. And you can cut up to six layers of fabric on your dies at a time. I think we should get started. Lynn. All right, so I'm just gonna show you, it's about 23 pounds, there's a built-in handle. Right. So uh, you can definitely move it from place to place and it's, it's portable, uh, so very easy to move around. And it opens up a little bit differently. A little differently. So you're gonna tilt it on its side. And then this part just opens up. So voila, there you go. Look at that. Okay, so I just wanna go through a little bit about how with the buttons and the lights. Okay. So we're gonna turn it this way. And look how wide that opening is Oh, too. right, there's a 14 inch wide opening. So yes. uh, plus we are coming out with, did I tell you this? We are coming out with Bigger dies. More big news, Lynn. <laughs> so more to come about this a little later. Uh, so we have the green button here. So very easy, just press it once to turn it on. So when that green light comes on, that means it's on. Right. And when the die would be going through, the motor starts running and then that green light will flash. So um, there is a safety feature where this is called the hands-free zone right here. So if your hand did go in and touch that roller by accident mm -hmm. or what have you, that blue light's going to come on and that you just need to get your hand out of that area. And then there's a red light here. So that will, the green light and the red light coming out at the same time means that the die just cannot go through the roller. So the machine will automatically back that die out. So if you tried too many layers by mistake, right. it's gonna stop you. That's correct. Fabulous. And if to turn it off, very easy, just press it once. So to turn it back on, just press it on. Really easy. Great. Do you want to tell us about what comes in the box? Let's take a look. You are going to get a getting started booklet. This is going to show you the basics of using the cutter. It'll have information on the lights that Lynn talked about and everything you need to know to get your best cuts. We also have a fabulous pattern booklet that comes inside of it. And this pattern booklet is all based on the die that comes inside of it. The die makes flying geese squares. We're so excited about this. What a versatile die. Really uh, lots of things that you can do with this. We're just gonna, we're gonna show you we're one gonna of them. We're gonna show you some of them. It also comes with the mat to go with it. So you'll have five different projects and we've got some of them here to show you. The first is the flying windmill table runner that we have in front of you. We also have our celebration table runner off to the side. And behind us, our take flight quilt. We have Moda fabrics that are used in this one. And in our other ones, Lynn. We have Robert Kaufman. Robert Kaufman. So always love working with our fabric company partners. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm just gonna get these out of your way. Okay, get Move those, those over out. here. Let's cut some flying geese, shall we? All right, All right, let's get started. Okay, so the same rules apply as with any go cutter. Right. As far as you wanna cut your fabric on the lengthwise grain. Uh, just grab my fabric here. So that salvage edge would be facing towards you. You can cut up to six layers of cotton fabric. Right. And you do still want to just place your fabric right over the edge of the die or With the that two -tone shape there. Foam, you can tell exactly where those die blades are too. That's right. And one of the other really cool things, I mentioned it before, that makes this such a fast cutting process is the fact that you can cut two dies at a time. I know, it's so exciting here. I'm going to give you the mat. Okay, let me just set my fabric now, as, on. As Lynn's getting that set up, some of the tips for getting the most wear out of your mat, you want to be sure and, and use both sides of it, move it around a little from side to side. And remember, if it's not covered with the mat, it's not going to cut. That's right. And so I'm going to show you how you can get this die started, then get this die started. So just so easy to use this. 
And then as they're going through, I have another die here. I can be getting this die ready to go to go as those are going through and yep. then just pick these up and keep on going. And you could move through your scraps in no time, have them all organized. You said you were doing that this weekend. That's right. I was I was scrap busting at home and uh, I just thought that using the uh, Go Big electric fabric cutter was fantastic for that. I just there was there was no cranking and so I just kept on going. I worked through the oh scraps goodness. that I had in no time. I'm going to show you how to put together a fine geese square. Quick. All right, great. A couple you. of the features that, that we have in all of our dies are our dog-eared corners. And these are another fantastic time saver mm -hmm. because it'll show you exactly how to line up your fabric. We have a standard quarter inch seam allowance on all of our piecing dies. I'm going to take it over real quick and sew it together. And if I was making this project, and it's definitely, wouldn't you say, a weekend project, Lynn? Absolutely. Uh, so one of the interesting facts that I found out about flying geese was that the large quarter square triangle is known as the goose, and that the smaller half square triangles are the sky. So that's I where the flying that. geese comes from. And uh, another um, great thing about this uh, flying windmill table runner is that this entire table runner, except for the strips, is created with your flying geese die. So not only can you make flying geese, which you have on the border here, you can make many, many, many traditional uh, quilt blocks. Also with this die, uh, it's compatible, it finishes to three inch by six inch. So it's compatible with our 12 inch mix and match sets, our eight inch and our six inch sets. It's, that's a great thing about this. And if I was making this project at home, I would definitely chain piece. I'd do all of one side, press them out like you saw me do a minute ago and then do the other side. And it's that quick to have this put together. And I don't need to press that, but uh, you can see we've got another one there. So I could have those done in no time. So first you've got very fast cutting with the Go Big electric fabric cutter. No shoulder strain, no, uh, no hand strain of any kind, just sending those through and, and you're off to the sewing machine in no time.